Hey guys, this is Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas, and welcome back to another review video. Today, we're going to take a look at the all-new redesigned 2023 Cherokee Alpha Wolf Model 26RL. Now, this is their most popular couples trailer, and it has a whole bunch of new exterior and interior features whole new redesign basically for 2023 but before we get to all that this trailer comes in at 7265 pounds as we see it here equipped today and it's going to be 34 feet 5 inches in overall length now this has a new exterior graphics package new interior decor a unheard of thing in a bumper pull a standard tankless water heater two air conditioners this has got the new lippert on the go ladder prep these really neat reflective windows uh, and all kinds of other neat features and amenities plus the things that you that make this one of the most popular uh, trailers in their lineup such as the dual opposing living room slides two power awnings and all of the construction perks that make alpha wolf a great trailer so without further ado, let's go ahead and we'll jump on to the inside and start with the living area. Okay guys, so we're on the inside of this brand new 2023 Alpha Wolf 26RL. And as you can see here, you have a new interior wood color. You've got new table colors, new floor colors, slightly different furniture colors. Uh, so it's overall, it's a really neat look. And real quick, I know I'm kind of spinning you around. If we get close to this color, you can see that it's just a kind of a nice, uh, almost westerny is the verbiage I'm going to use there. Brown with a couple little darker accents, but I really do like that. Now you've got some blue LED accent lights above your slide outs. You're also going to have those underneath the countertop. However, for this video, I'm going to turn those off because it gives you a better uh, picture of how the color really is. Now, one of the things people really love about this trailer is all the window coverage that is on your campsite. So starting over here, you've got a window and entry door, a viewing window that is thin shade ready. You've got all these great window coverage or windows on your slide out. Now, the slide in windows do not open. The slide side windows do. And it wraps all the way back around to uh, the back of the trailer. Now, if I'm being ultra picky, I would love to see these two windows open and the slide side windows open for air airflow. You do have the zebra shades in this trailer as well, which those are a light filtering day and night shade. People either love them or hate them, but let me know what you think down in the comment section down below. I'd like your opinion on those. Now, a freestanding table and chairs is going to be the standard dinette arrangement. Now, the way Alpha Wolf does it, it's a two plus two dining arrangement. So you've got two full-time chairs and two foldable chairs. So you can leave those at home or put them in the pass-through storage or under the bed or something. Now, I do really love the tables they use with that kind of simulated uh, waterfall or live edge, whatever you want to call it. Now over here, you're going to have your theater seats. Those are going to be heat massage, and they have these cool blue lights that illuminate underneath them if you are plugged into 110 volt power or a generator. Now the uh, in or the fabric color is more almost a black, and man, it really looks good against the lighter uh, wood colors. You also are going to have the wider armrest here with remote storage there. Hey, did you notice that was slow close? That's really cool. And across the back, you've got a tri-fold sleeper sofa. You've got little cubbies on the one side, household and USB plugs on each side of there with the big thermal foil press membrane side stands there. And if we take a look at the video that will pop up, you can see that this does turn out into a guest sleeping capacity uh, high to bed sofa. So you can sleep three to four adults in here if you do need to, which is great. You know, if you're, uh, if you have a couple of guests over and they have one too many drinks, they can stay the night over uh, that way they're not having to drive home impaired or something. Or if you've got a couple extra grandkids, 
Now, if we take a seat at the theater seat, you can see that you're directly across from the entertainment center. Now, TVs are an option um, because we're trying to keep these a little less money and um, also because they're, you know, they don't provide the mounts anymore. Um, we've stopped ordering these with the TVs. But, uh, so you can get it as an option. Um, honestly, what I would do is go out and get like a smart TV or something and put it there. But that's just my two cents. Now down here, you're going to have a couple of USB ports. This right here, this little box, that is your Bluetooth radio. So it is not AM, FM anymore. Um, it just basically connects to your phone. I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. I will say the speakers, they sound really good. I was playing with that when it showed up this morning. And then you've got a 5200 BTU electric space heating fireplace down below there, plus a component shelf up top there. Now we'll take a look at all of this kitchen storage here. Um, again, I just can't get over this wood look. And I love the fact that that is not black anymore. Um, it, it, it just didn't go with anything else, in my opinion, last year. Now, in the Alpha Wolves, you, one of the things you won't see is in-floor ducted heat. These use cabinet ducted heating throughout all, the whole line, which is something a lot of people really like. It makes it really easy to clean. And you can see you've got household and USB ports right there as well. Now you do have dual rows of LED lighting in here. It really feels nice and bright in here. Um, and then you're also going to have a standard 15,000 BTU Coleman air conditioner system in this. Now we've optioned this one here today with the second air conditioner. Not every single one of these that you see out there uh, when you're shopping for these things will have that, but this particular one does. So without further ado, let's go ahead, let me crack all this storage open and let's take a look at this kitchen because this has got a really good kitchen for a bumper pull. And trust me, it is hard to find good kitchens and bumper pulls nowadays. Let's go take a look. Okay guys, so starting up above the rear sofa, you can see that you've got some good storage that'll go all the way across. I really wish they would spend a little bit of extra money and put strut supported cabinet or strut uh, hinges on these um but it is what it is now we'll come back we'll kind of loop around this way you've got thermal foil press membrane countertops and we'll come back to the island here in just a moment but what i want to focus on here first is this cool little serving bar thing that is over here wide open countertop prep space which is awesome you've got household and usb plugs so you can put in a you know a griddle coffee pot instapot whatever you want to put over there you've got good storage right here now this cabinet is access to the back of your furnace and water heater so that does not open but i like that they made it look like a cabinet just to match it you're gonna have great storage right here Love that fluted glass too, by the way. Now, one quick thing here before we get back to the rest of the kitchen. You've got your control panel with your slides and awnings here. Um, your lighting controls, uh, water pump, and then you've got a Bluetooth connectivity thing, plus your tank monitoring panel. And then right here is going to be that controller for the uh, Furion tankless water heater. Juice pack voltmeter is right there, so it'll tell you how much available juice is in the battery. And then right here, you're going to have your uh, one control hotspot that uh, basically is, is prepped for Wi-Fi in a sense. And then you've got your thermostat right there, plus your breakers and fuses down there at the bottom. Now over here, this is a standard refrigerator. This is a 10.7 cubic foot, 12 volt DC compressor driven refrigerator. The benefits with these, they're fully travel safe. They cool down in about an hour and a half. And they're so much bigger than the comparable gas and electric refrigerator. You've also got your microwave right here. So, um, as you can see there. Now, in the island, you've got a farm-style sink with the high-rise uh, sprayer faucet. And 
Oh, I'm so glad they took that off. They fi they finally got rid of the hand sanitizer station. Um, that was always kind of cheesy in my opinion. But people liked it. Great room for pots and pans or a wastebasket space there. And then right here, you've got three full extension plywood box, ball brain, drawer guided drawers. The top one has spots for your silverware, which is really cool. Now, as we come back over here above your stove and hood range, you've got a extra cabinet space there. Nice power uh, outlet location there for another coffee maker station. Three burner cooktop with the glass cover. The light, the the lights knob blue. Okay, um, that's what I was gonna say. The knobs light up blue if you do need them to or want them to. And then down below is your oven in case you want to do some baking. Now over here, over here, over here. Oh my gosh, I'm failing today. Maybe it's because it's about 90 degrees out. But anyways, you've got another drawer and another cabinet space. I kind of wish this would open all the way, um, but it is what it is. And then lastly, you've got this massive pantry. Now, some feedback, and Alf Wolf, if, any, if, if anybody is uh, watching, um, could we maybe throw in a third shelf in this? Just, you know, that, that bottom one, while it's great for big things, it'd be nice if there was another shelf down there, if we could do that. Um, I think a lot of people would really like that, but that's just my two cents. And in case you forget where the pantry is they go ahead and label it for you so with that being said that's gonna wrap it up for the kitchen let's go ahead and take a look at the bathroom okay guys so stepping up into the bathroom of the 26 rl by alpha wolf first things first you've got a porcelain foot flush lever toilet plenty of leg and elbow room around that up top you've got a larger fantastic vent fan which is more of a whole house vent fan. So one of the neat things with that is you can open a couple of windows, turn that on, and it really gets some airflow going through here. Now over here, you've got your Neo Angle shower. You can be upwards of about 6'3 and still be able to shower in here uh, easily. Now that is a nice big radius shower. So it's not the small one. There's one that's a lot smaller than that. You've got great linen cabinet space here too, by the way. One of the things I always thought about, and let me know what you think about this, is would it be cool to kind of divide that and make this an extra hanging closet space or have removable shelves and a hanging bar? Just a thought, something, something I thought about. Now over here, you've got your medicine cabinet. Notice that is on a corner. That costs a little bit of extra money to do that. You're also going to have a motion sensor light, GFI protected outlet, nice huge sink with pressed membrane, thermal foil style countertops, and some good storage right down there. So real quick, let's go ahead and jump up to the bedroom. So stepping out of the bathroom, you've got a sliding pocket privacy door right here. 60 by 74 camper queen bed. That is one of the downsides. There is storage underneath that too, by the way. You're going to have household and USB outlets on both sides of the bed. Window that opens here. Now they are using the, wow, that is the pleated nightshades. There we go. Um, I kind of wish they'd use zebra shades up here, but it is what it is. You've got TV prep over here. So um, that's where that would go. You're also going to have great size wardrobe space here. New uh, front wall panel too that's man that looks really good storage above here again i wish they would put the cabinet struts there but that's you know that's what i call screwdriver work that's something that i can easily do window over there it does not open uh, i kind of wish it did and then this particular one has the second 15k ac uh, it is not ducted and i'm okay with that you know it, it honestly it'll freeze you out of this room here um, when we put these in, man, it really helps. And I would encourage everybody, if you're thinking about ordering one of these, um, whether you buy from me or not, order that with the second air conditioner, because this floor plan in particular, it really, really helps it keep a lot cooler. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead now, let's close up these slide outs and 
take a look at it in travel mode. Okay guys, so with the slide outs closed, this one is one that I think is best used at a destination. So as you can see with any dual posing slide out camper, you're not getting to your living and kitchen area uh, very easily, especially with that awesome chunk of countertop space right there. Now you can very easily get to the bedroom and the bathroom as you can see here. And of course you've got the dual entry bedroom over there. So overall, I'm gonna give this one a, a an A minus because you can get to the bathroom for a quick potty stop. But uh, if you're wanting to use the rest of the trailer other than the bedroom, you're gonna wanna be at a RV park or somewhere where you can run the slide outs out. All right guys, so we're on the outside of this 26 RL from Alpha Wolf. Now, as we start up front, one of the biggest changes is you have new exterior graphics. So you've got a three quarter fiberglass front cap with integrated LED lights that I always, for some reason, forget to turn on. You've also got a power tongue jack, two 20 pound propane tanks. You've also got your safety chain uh, holders and seven way plug holder there. And then with the juice pack solar package that comes with this, you get a uh, group 27 series battery which is very cool. That juice pack solar panel is now a 100 watt panel instead of a 50 watt like last year. You can see you've got uh, manual stabilizer jacks. Those will change. This is uh, gonna be a little different uh, throughout the year. Um, I haven't seen the new manual stabilizer jacks, but I've heard they're really awesome looking. You've got a great finished off pass-through storage. Now you've got your uh, solar charge controller and motion sensor lights on both sides, which is really nice. Magnetic holdbacks on your main baggage doors, slam latches. Now, if we back up here, you can see that you have two power awnings. Those both are gonna have LED light strips integrated into those. And then if we, Go over here, you can see my goofy face in those reflective windows, which they're tinted and they have a reflective coating on the outside. So they're really gonna help reflect a lot of that UV light and uh, heat away from the windows, which is very nice. They call them an RV45 window in case you were wondering. Now, if we drop over here, you can see you do have a leash latch to tie up your fur babies. And then if we drop underneath here, you can see that this is a fully enclosed and forced air heated underbelly, which is gonna give you some great extended season use and potentially some four season use, depending on where you're at. Now you've got that black glass entry door that is on a friction hinge, larger entry assist handle, and you've got the triple step, more ride step above steps. Again, I love these graphics. They just look so good. Now, if we drop down here, you've got new wheels for this year. They look ultra sharp. And then you're also going to have a TV backer on the outside, so you can bring the, uh, the TV of your choice. To the outside, you've got two outside speakers and cable and power. All your slide outs are gonna be prepped for the Solaris slide awning toppers. I don't recommend slide out awnings, and I'll probably make a video at some point going over that, but uh, they are prepped for them if you do wanna waste your money and do that. You've got a propane quick connect back here. This one has the rear travel rack and spare tire mount. And then you can see this still has the LCI Insight backup camera. And then this little bar right here, that is prepped for the Lippert on the go uh, collapsible ladder. And when we get one of those, I will do a review on that and tell you what I think about it. Coming around onto this side, you got your 50 amp service, nothing too spectacular there. One of the really cool, neat things they did is they redesigned this entertainment center storage. So this, as you can see here, if we get in here and it goes all the way up to the slide out top roof. So this would be a very great place to store some fishing poles. Plus you've got a motion sensor light in there too, by the way. Let me know what you'd use that for. I'd be curious to see. Now coming over here, 
you've got the outside of your furnace, your tankless water heater. And then right here is going to be your gray and black tank dumps. Notice the gate valves are hidden up inside the underbelly, which is very nice. That's going to keep them from freezing potentially. And then right here is going to be your hookup station. So you've got a convenience light, a uh, your city water black tank flush, uh, fresh water inlet, outside shower, and your cable and satellite hookups. And then this will be the other side of your pass-through storage. So with that being said, that's going to wrap it up for the 2023 Forest River Alpha Wolf Model 26 RL. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you have any questions or if you'd like pricing and availability, I'll post a link to our uh, website down below where you can check that at any time. You can also give us a call at 806-335-2336, or you can shoot me an email at contact at custom-rv.com. If you're interested in purchasing this specific trailer and you'd like to work with me personally, again, my name is Corey. You can call or text me at 806-382-6274 at any time. Now remember guys, Custom RV doesn't do any of those pesky hidden dealer fees, and we know that RVs are made for women, so men can go camping. With that being said, if you could do me a huge favor i really appreciate this if you could hit that like button down below that really helps us with the youtube algorithm and uh, if you're new to the channel please consider hitting that subscribe and notification bell we've got some really cool trailers coming uh for you guys and we've already got some really cool videos that i really think uh if, you, if this isn't the right one check out some of our other videos i'm sure we've got something that would fit your budget or your driveway or your specific situation and needs so without further ado, that's going to wrap it up for this video. We thank you very much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed. We hope to see you out on our lot or hear from you very soon. And have a wonderful rest of your day, guys.